Hi and welcome everyone, about an hour ago Amazon posted a message on their official forums titled Amazon Games and Smilegate RPG message from the team. This seems to be a very long one and I heard people in my guild being very happy about some of the things inside this, so I'm very excited to take a look and see what this is about. Uh, maybe we've been heard. So let's get reading, we're gonna jump only to the most important parts, they're also talking here about how Smilegate RPG has joined them this week in Seattle. Uh, to discuss release and the data that they have which is great um thank you again to amazon and smilegate for releasing lost ark in the west i'm still very happy about it um, th um the first important part is starts right here we've seen player concerns that releasing argos before a significant portion of the player base had progressed through tier Three, made Lost Ark feel pay to win. We made a mistake releasing the March. Oh, they also said that uh, they also uh, said it out loud that they made a mistake. This is super, super cool from them. Um, very nice. They don't need to apologize for anything, but just admitting that what they thought initially was a little bit of a mistake. This is gorgeous. Good job, guys, by the way. So we made a mistake releasing the March uh, game update too quickly after launch. Sure, uh, data we analyzed along Smilegate RPG from their previous launches projected that a larger portion of players would have reached the level required to challenge Argos. However, we overlooked certain variables such as players spending more time on horizontal content and the price of honing materials increasing uh, due to bots and real money transactions. After analyzing data and listening to player feedback across all our community channels, we believe that an update that helps adventurers progress with the content currently in game is more important than releasing new end game content. Of course it is, good job once again. Uh, we'll expand on this below in the honing section. With that said, players should feel encouraged to progress at whatever pace they feel most comfortable with. I was just saying this in my previous video, this is amazing, this is what Lost Ark is all about, to, to, to let you progress comfortably but still at, at one point sooner rather than later, you know, be there when new stuff um, uh, comes along. If you're interested in it, a person who just does horizontal stuff should not be waited for in terms of new releases, but someone who is actively looking into gearing up, uh, but doesn't want to pay a lot of real money or few real money, that person which is interested in the gear and, you know, new stuff coming along and wants to do them, uh, then that person should be waited for. And of course, the whale is already going to be there. Um, yeah, so don't get me wrong, not everyone should be waited upon, uh, just the people who are actually interested in working towards it, which doesn't happen at the moment, and they're saying that, amazing, can I just give them a, a, li a little clap, because uh, they just may make me happy with this. There is still a wealth of endgame content that needs to arrive in Arcasia. Endgame content will be introduced, but players should continue progressing at their own pace. Our goal is to provide fun content for players, um, even if it's at a higher level, while never making players feel pressured that they need to pay to progress. It's just amazing sentence after amazing sentence. Super, super cool. Amazon Games and Smilegate RPG will continue to monitor, but feel that Legion Raids, the definitive Lost Ark raiding experience, should be released after players have acquired enough materials to be confident and ready for the complicated challenges awaiting them. It doesn't have to be too late, but it, it cannot be too soon either. Right now, with the tier 3 and the Abyssal Dungeons that are there, four of them, and with Argos, the three phases, um, um, I think this is this is good enough content to allow players to discover a little bit more of Lost Ark, even if that means playing another class because they just have time to do that and they're incentivized to, even if that means discovering an island, that has to be their choice what they do in the game. So the balance is very, very important. They're also mentioning new classes and skins, which are two huge things that people are asking for at the moment. Um, they're saying that they cannot release them all at once because it's a bit tricky and I completely agree with that. That shouldn't happen. All of, all of the classes and skins next month, uh, right? Uh, but they are saying that um, we'll share specifics in the upcoming roadmap we're working on with Smilegate RPG in studio this week. So maybe their original plan with Destroyer in April and Arcanist in May might actually be subject to change. Maybe we're going to get two classes in April and two classes in May. God knows. Uh, we're going to see, but 
they have that feedback and they're looking into it to see what they can do uh, to also fit the business because this is obviously very important. A very important section, economy bots and honing materials. Um, a shortage of tier 3 progression materials coupled with problems introduced by bots have made honing materials too expensive and a burden for players. To combat this, we will be supplying more progression materials for players to earn through fun in-game events, injecting more gold into the mid uh, to end game. Um, this is super important because most likely all of the honing materials that they're going to be injecting into the game are going to drop in price from the auction house. So this is something that some of you might actually want to keep in mind. Um, injection of honing materials in next week's update, we will provide additional Grand Prix honing rewards, um, introduce a new casual um, event guardian raid to supply players with more honing materials and kick off the first season of competitive proving out so rank pvp is coming also i really hope though that the data they have reflects what we were talking about in our youtube videos because god knows i i just don't want us to be wrong and then they're doing this because of whatever um, i don't know social media pressure and then it it just becomes a, a worse situation i i think it's going to be good i hope it's going to be good i i feel that it would be good um but but the in-game data has to also be analyzed i really hope that it just uh, the data was thinking the same as we were thinking right event guardian raids you can enjoy in a more casual way relax play and get honing rewards okay this line sounds a little bit weird i i hope we're not completely jumping overboard into the relax side of things lost ark has many sides to it it's relax it's competitive it's serious it's you know at times grindy uh, to to get to to the very tip of the tip and that's perfectly fine all of these parts make lost ark into 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 a great game i i think they i i think and i hope they know what they're doing with this and i think this is really cool of them um <laughs> but we still you know i hope that we're gonna continue keeping the beautiful balance that lost ark has shown in the past years similar to the grand prix you can enter once a day per roster and earn specific and earn event specific coins to spend on rewards at a new vendor this vendor can be found um, in major cities alongside the entrance to this new activity. Arcasia Grand Prix adjustments. We are adding tailoring books and metallurgy books, which is nice, to the rewards table for players to increase their honing rates. And we're in increasing the number of event coins earned to help players get items easier than before. PvP rewards for players eagerly awaiting uh, PvP action. The first ranked season will come next week. Players will be able to earn a variety of rewards, including access to weekly honing materials from the PvP vendor. Thank God. Uh, we'll have a dedicated article announcing more details next week. <gasps> Some cool gifts also. New animal skin selection chest. Mokoko pet selection Oh, this is so gorgeous. This is amazing. Uh, Mokoko board mount selection chest. Lost Ark United structure. Oh, this is so cool. This is amazing. This is so cool. Um, appearance change ticket. 132 Feons. Super, super nice. Um, five Menelix tomes. Legendary card pack selection chest. Um, two pieces and jukebox songs that will be provided when jukebox content is released in the future. This is so cool. This is this is nice. Um, too bad a bit low resolution picture, so I'm sorry for that. But <laughs> this is cool. This is so nice. I cannot wait to have either the cow or the rooster. Uh, I'm still thinking about it. I have the rooster in Korea, so maybe I can get the cow this time. Uh, regardless. Um, this was everything for the article. At the end, they're also saying that our teams at Amazon and Smilegate will continue to listen to players and analyze the data to find the right time for new endgame content um, as we try to catch the Western version up to the rest of the world. This is really important uh, because this means that there might be changes in their original plan to release, for example, Via Kiss next month in April and then Valtan in May. Maybe these are going to be delayed or maybe not, depending on the player data. Maybe these events that they have in mind and these 
um, uh, this injection of materials with maybe lower prices on the auction house that people can afford to to j just get the economy going in a better place and buy and sell with the gold that they can make in game maybe all of these things will prove to have a great success or maybe we have to delay uh, the, the 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 next big content update which is uh, the first legion raid to a little bit later very very happy with everything they've said in this article very thrilled actually with the way they said everything good job by the way at amazon games for putting this together um, i'm very glad i really hope that this is going to work i'm very happy that they listen to player feedback um, again i hope that they will i guess they are you know triaging through feedback um, because there's a lot of feedback that's coming in but not every single point of feedback should be uh, you know we should change uh, lost art completely because of that we should take care of the of, of the important things the things that make lost ark lost ark which is all inclusiveness fun and this 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 feeling of of being happy playing Lost Ark, which I've had personally for for uh, for uh, many years already. Very glad that Amazon reacted so fast to this and fingers crossed their plan is going to work. And uh, for all of you, I thank you for watching this video. I'm going to see you really soon. Until then, take care and stay safe.